Hunter's a pretty popular choice these days. And what do you think about Hunter versus the amount of minions that this new druid is going to have? So Hunter is a popular choice. And it looks like that is the choice that he is going to make. We're going to be able to get into the game in just a second here. And Hunter has in the past been favored versus Druid, but the current versions of Druid, this one that we see with Echoing Ooze, that No Stam is playing with the Creeper, mm -hmm. with two Defender of Argus, it actually shores up that matchup quite a bit and brings it a lot closer to 50-50 than it used to be. That's right. What about the argument that he's got Echoing Ooze that makes two guys? Uh, that's going to be so much worse against Unleash the Hounds and, like, Starving Buzzard. You know, one of the things the Hunter deck is really great at is beating, in a way, anything that you can have. Echoing Ooze is really great against Freezing Trap, hmm. but really weak against Unleash the Hounds. I see. Single minions are very good against Unleash the Hounds, but very poor against Hunter's part. Right. Nostum has uh, decided to get rid of both Ancient Lords and the Savage Roar. Those are late game cards. And we see Trollio uh, tossing away all of these not good standalone minions. The Timberwolf might be an indicator. Deadly that, shot. Mm, deadly shot. So it looks like a bit more of the controlling type of hunter. So No Stam is going to have the strong early minions. I'll be interested to see if Trollio does decide to play tracking on turn one here. Considering you have both, I think you almost certainly should. That's just right. Just to try to not have your curve disrupted. Huh, he's got to be deciding between Unleash and Web Spinner. Given that this Druid has a lot of minions out with cards like Echoing Ooze and Creeper, I think Unleash the Hounds is the right choice here. Yeah, Unleash is probably too powerful not to take. Web Spinner would give you something to do next turn, which mm -hmm. feels good, but Unleash is one of the ways that you're going to win the matchup. Right. Uh, Nostum has the opportunity to start off pretty quick. Gonna take it and coin out a two drop and then follow it up with the creep for the next turn. Yeah, he's not wasting any time. He decides to use his coin to get an immediate presence. He's got another two drop to follow it up. He might just have hero power on turn three, but the deck has a lot of three drops and innervate all which could help fill his curve by the time he gets there. So he's not afraid to just use the coin now and get a presence out there. All right, Trolia draws a kill command. So he's got a lot of burst at the end, but one of the problems with drawing all the burst at the beginning is you're often going to have to use it somewhat inefficiently to trade it off. And another tracking finds the other piece of the combo. So hooray tracking. Hooray tracking. Uh, do you have more experience with the Hunter side of Hunter vs. Druid or the Druid side of Hunter vs. Druid? This uh, Druid deck is something that has just recently come into popularity. It started coming into popularity right before I came to PAX. So I haven't had much opportunity to play against this. Other than uh, in a recent tournament, it, was, it brutally beat me three times in a row. Yeah, I, I have some experience uh, losing to the Druid deck as well. I, I've been able to beat it. Uh, a few times, but when you're the hunter player and they have the early minions and you don't, know, sometimes you feel like you really are falling behind really fast. Yeah, I mean, tough spot for Trollio has no play, so he has to just hunt, uh, just hero ability. He's not going to really have a play in the next turn either. Yeah, it, it, we'll see what he draws. Something like Animal Companion, anything to do would be good. If he draws nothing, I would not be surprised to see him use a kill command on one of the... Oh, the one-two. Oh, oh boy. Is he going to do it? He considered doing it last turn. You saw him uh, mouse over. Nah, you don't do it. I mean, it, it creates another... You can do the buzzard unleash. It's only one attack. You definitely don't. Yeah, it, it, it would only be the cost of one life in the immediate, and it would end up giving you another card next turn. And a dog. And a dog. But it also is something that you won't be able to kill very easily, so ultimately it's going to probably be more than just one damage. Oh yeah, and of course uh, we see that under Trollio's portrait there. We have him representing the University of Georgia, which uh, we have represented by the Unleash the Hounds symbol. The, the good news, yeah, the University of Georgia Unleash the Hounds getting ready. Uh, no Sam actually does, it has another turn without a great play here. Hmm. He has to either hero power again for the second turn in a row, or just play one of his Keeper of the Groves, and you not, not have access to that effect just to sort of advance his board in a, in a weaker way. That's right. Uh, in a way, this um, this match has gotten off to a weak start versus weak start. So that's good for Trollio, since he's managed to uh, slip into turn five despite playing against the Druid, who coined out something on turn one and played a twin, turn two follow-up. Uh, Hyena, High Main, and Owl. 
Hmm. So this is Trollio's first real play of the game. Turn five, the marquee combo of the deck. But he's facing down small minions that he can't really kill very easily. Right. And he's at 20 life against a druid who's going to be coming up towards his larger plays soon. Can yeah. definitely be a scary thing. Even though Trollio has nine cards in his hand, uh, his options are actually rather limited. Next turn, he's going to pretty much have to play Savannah High Main. Uh, no other combination of cards currently seems like it works too well. And the other problem with these Unleash the Hounds is they're up, up against 1-2 minions. So uh, if he trades into the Spider, like not even the three dogs is going to be able to completely finish off the Creeper. Such a, such a durable card. The, the University of Georgia Bulldogs get in there, but they're not able to clear everything away. The remaining Spectral Spider take out the Buzzard. Both of them, no spells for you. I have to imagine we're just going to see a high main next turn. Absolutely. Uh, one of those times where the Lothab doesn't actually limit the options. I was going to do that anyway, says Trollio. Yeah, but he was going to do it anyway on a turn where he's already at 18 life. So it is an uphill climb. He certainly has the resources in hand. And right. Innervate drawn for no stamp. Oh man, here we go. Nostam is going for the throat. Uh, playing the Treants right now. Trollio cannot be feeling good about that. Uh, he's just hitting the face, setting Trollio down to five. And one of the big problems with Hunter is no life gain. And, you know, he's found the winning line of play. At this point, if Trollio can't put together 29 damage, he's going to die to swipe next Right, turn. one thing that I didn't even think about was the Innervate Hero ability, and he set him to four, and that is to prevent something like a Houndmaster to prevent Taunt, so he can just swipe the face, so... He has Hound Master. He can kill Command the 5-5, but mm. it's not going to be enough. No That's Stamp right. has the swipe ready to go. Yet another win for the Druid, and really, really strong play for No Stamp, actually. That's right. I really like that uh, Innervate Hero ability. I don't think that's too obvious a play. And knowing when to go for the throat uh, with Surgical Procedure. I really feel like once he drew the Innervate, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. And mm. he didn't hesitate. He just went right for it. He knew that it would end up with a, as a winning line of play. Uh, it seemed pretty straightforward for him. Mm -hmm. um, and yet another game to the Druid. First match, no stand. 2-0 with Druid. 